Oh, we're going to the History Museum. I, oh, I don't like this, though. You know we about to fight a T-Rex or something. Like a ghost possesses a T-Rex or something. It just feels like what would happen. Nope. I'm good. I... Nope. I'm good. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna... This, is, that, is that what I need to fight? That guy? Right there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I ain't having none of this. Oh, shit. Okay, um, Guichi, uh, you, you need to get the fuck back. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, obviously something with these eggs. You want egg? You hungry or something? Eat. And then, oh, hang on. Well, he's, well, he's in the middle of eating. Shoot that at him. Oh, okay, never mind. This is, this is relatively easy. Well. Yeah, they're not going to make it that easy, are they? Because the eggs kind of just destroyed there. Um, if only there was something other than the egg for it to chew on. Give you just the opportunity you need. You okay? Thanks, thanks, Egad. You want to chew on Guichi? Wait, what? Wait, I was fucking joking. I didn't think he'd actually just start chewing Luigi. Guichi. Alright, Guichi, become chewing gum. Go. Uh, no, 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 I see the pole on him. Ah, uh, no. Uh, this whole, this fight just got a whole lot worse. Um, I'm good. Can I, can I? Oh, fuck, what is that? He steps on Guiji and gets stuck for a second. I think I need to use that for something. Wow, out of all the bosses they could have pulled, I mean, I mean, after seeing the museum thing and then seeing all the dinosaurs, it's like, okay, yeah, it's obviously gonna make me fight. But, like, at, at the at the rate the whole game was going, the last thing I expected was for them to just straight up be like, oh, yeah, then you're gonna fight a T-Rex here? Shoot it. Wait, hang on, I can just sh I don't even need him to step on Guiji in order to be able to shoot the things at him. I guess throwing Guiji to could diversion or something, I don't fucking know. Just shoot it. Yeah! Oh, let's go! Okay, that was a lot easier than I was making it out to be. <laughs> Luigi's like, yo, quit being a bitch. I killed the motherfucker. Time to wait in an elevator for a minute. I mean, these floors are pretty far apart, so maybe even two minutes. Maybe if we're lucky, the game will say, you know what, that whole elevator mechanic, being realistic, that's kind of dumb. I mean, you did just fight a T-Rex, so, I mean, what's realism in this game? Used a vacuum cleaner on a T-Rex. Oh, there's some, I feel like that, that seems suspicious. And it was. Yo, okay, what? Go. Can I? Oh, is that, is that counted as a new floor? Do I have to have Luigi do it, or? Okay, Luigi, it's like one step. Just take one step up. It's... What? It's not that hard. Oh, he's drowning us. Yo, what the fuck? Jesus, dog? Yo, wait, hang on, hang on. Is that why when I die, he's able to revive me? Like, when I die, he revives me. And he's walking on water. That's all I'm gonna say. Yo, and he's guiding me all the time to where I need to go. Yo, Jesus dog. Oh. Oh. Hey, yo, they, they, you know, this is pretty chill. They got some chill music for it as well. Damn. Yo, I like this mechanic, though. They introduce some neat mechanics every now and then. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Oh, never mind. Well, the water's clear. It's perfectly fine. Oh, we got it. Uh, the water's back to how it... No shit, Egad. Excuse me. Uh, par pardon me. Sorry, the intrusion. Uh, thank you. Uh, continue uh, dying, I guess. Okay. Oh, uh, there's there's the... There's the mechanic. 
Yo, he's sitting that. Yo, he just chilling right next to landmines. Yo, Luigi, get out of here. The balls on this man are huge. You stand no chance. Like you always scared of everything. You scared of that duck that you just stepped on. This man just be chilling next to landmines, all peaceful. Oh, never mind. He's taunting you. Get his ass. <laughs> what? Uh, this is an interesting fight. Are are we really? We're really out here fighting on inner tubes. Just like every other boss in the game, I just need to find out the gimmick. Once I find out the gimmick, fight's over. <laughs> like, he's over here just trying his hardest to get Luigi. And Luigi's just chilling here. Luigi doesn't look phased. Luigi just looks super fine. No, 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 no. No. Jesus, dog, help. Charge him down right now. I'm gonna hit away from death here. What? Um. Oh, that was a complete accident. You know what? You shouldn't be surprised at this point. That's how all the fights go. It's like, it, it, it feels so hard every time. And then once you find out the pattern, it's like, oh, this is the easiest pattern ever. It's so easy. How was I losing before? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yo, I'm using my brain out here! By the power of Jesus' dog, we have prevailed. If Jesus' dog didn't give us this second chance at life, I don't think we would have beaten him. Thank you, Jesus' dog. Thank you. Oh. Oh, fuck! How did I avoid that? Oh. Oh, okay, so this looks interesting. Like, this is really weird for a hotel. <laughs> now I'm thinking more about it, because, like, they have this hotel, not a mansion, first of all, game. Uh -huh. Um, like, they had, they had a museum. It's like, alright, you know what, maybe a hotel would have had that a museum on it, that's fine, you know. Uh, sure. But, like, this fucking pyramid? Like, you're telling me um, there's a museum out there that has a room that they constantly put sand into... And make a fucking pyramid. No, 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 no. That ain't happening. Um. No. Hey, can I please? Sir, can I? Please? Please, sir? Okay. Time to dig in sand again. It really is an amazing game. Yeah, it, I, I, I feel that as well. I mean, ever, there's no game that doesn't have at least some flaws. I do feel like this game has more flaws than a lot of others that are... That I would consider good games. But all in all, it's still a good game in my opinion. Even with all of its flaws, it's like I'm still playing it. Like, I wouldn't be playing the game if the flaws bothered me so much to the point where, you know, I just didn't like the game. Like, I wouldn't be playing a game I didn't like. Every game has flaws and then you have Fortnite. Oh. When you put it that way... You know what? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say controversial opinion here, right? Probably, I don't know. Fortnite, I don't think it's a terrible game, like a lot of people believe, right? But it's just the community that plays the game, right, that makes it such a bad game, like gives it such a bad reputation. I've tried Fortnite, you know, I've, I've, I've tried it twice. I made two videos on it. I mean, it wasn't technically Fortnite when I was playing, because it was like one of the game modes they have at the time. They had like a Marvel game mode, and that was pretty fun. I actually enjoyed myself just, you know, fucking around in that game at that time, right? But it's because of all the sweaty tryhards in it and just the community that's so toxic about it that makes the game bad. So even if you have a game that's not bad, right, as a game or a good game, the community around the game can just change how people see the game. So that, that, that's, that's what I think is the main reason why Fortnite has such a bad reputation about it. And that just can be said about any game, really. If there's a game that has a bad or toxic community to it, then people will just, instead of, oh, the community's toxic, it's, oh, the game's toxic. And it, this this really just turned pretty much into a podcast while I'm digging the sand, because, like, there's no real gameplay going on here. It's just me, you know, enjoying the sandbox right now. And anyone as a kid ever, like, have a sandbox that you just played in? I remember my parents had a, like, they got a sandbox for our backyard, and as a kid, I would just play in that all the time. How much volume is this vacuum capable of? 
I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna get rid of the Sahara Desert today using this vacuum cleaner. That's that's a YouTube title and a half. Removing all sand from the desert using a vacuum cleaner. Yo, but seriously, what the hell do I do? Like, so uh, at this point, like, just to keep myself busy and doing something instead of just sitting here twiddling my thumbs, I'm just like, all right, well, the Sahara Desert, that's gotta go. I'm getting desperate at this point because all of the pyramids pretty much cleaned up. And I'm like, <laughs> please, something. Wait. What? No. What? What? You're telling me my ass went around vacuuming up the entire Sahara Desert when all I had to do was say, ha, funny statue, yoink, and then the door opens. I fucking hate this game. Yo, there's not much here in this stage. There's literally just this time. Oh, no, 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 it's not going to be that simple. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to call it right now. I'm going to interact with this thing. And somehow the floor is gonna fall. So I don't know, I'm not exactly sure how exactly, but somehow I'm calling it the floor is just gonna fall down. And then I'm gonna get to the actual pyramid stage. Yeah, okay, there's no way they were dead, come on. Have you, have you, have you seen the theme of this hotel here? The whole ghost, you know, dead thing, but not dead, you know? And you have a boss on every floor, this, come on. Oh! Wow! I called it. What? Wow. I actually called it. God. Man, it's been a while since this went off. I really need to mute this during stream. Hey, what's up? Lou, you here? Uh, yo, dude, come on. Wi Fi is cutting out. You fell down a sand. Okay, fuck off. Oh, you gotta find an escape route. Yo. No shit, Egad. Like. Did, did you really need to be like, oh, you fell in a hole? It, it, no, no shit. I can see that. You need to escape. Yeah, what did you think I was going to do? Secure the rest of the game? Yo, all my practice cleaning up the desert has not gone to waste. Because I can dig my way out now perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm up here. I remember I dropped that. Yeah, I dropped down here and then fell even more. Uh, yeah, what is it again? Look, there's a door... Wow. Really? Thanks again. I, I didn't know there was a door there. That that's crazy. Every time Eged calls me, it seems like all he does is just state the obvious. Like, something I can clearly see and already know. Like, I mean, the game could have just easily just panned the, over to the door and I would have been like, Hey, a door's there. Uh, maybe, I, you know, it's showing me that because I need to go there. Right? But then they have to pan to it and then Eged calls me and it's like, Hey. In case you didn't see the door we're showing you, right? I don't know what else we'd show you. There's a door there. Yo, it's like I'm back in, like, kindergarten again when they're trying to teach me about shapes and I gotta cram the one shape into the hole that best fits it. All of the only difference between that and this in kindergarten is this is filled with poisonous gas. Well, I guess they're not that different then. Right, where's, where's the last triangle? Yo, Luigi, quit, quit coughing and dying, you'll be fine. You know, quit being a bitch, it's just poisonous gas. No no threat, really. Oh, there's fucking snakes. Oh, th these snakes just are latching on to me. Damn, get off. Man, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of snakes, to be fair. <laughs> oh, I remember uh, for my friend's birthday, right? He had me and my other friends come over to his house, and we went to this place called the Reptarium. Which, um, you know, it's, it's like a place for all the reptiles. They had so many snakes there. And like I was, I was there the whole time. Like, yeah, snakes. You know, it's it's great. You know, and you know, cause I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of snakes, right? They also had a spider there, and I was like, what the fuck? All right, you you gotta be fucking kidding me right now. A reptarium. Spiders are not reptiles. Why the fuck is a tarantula here? I don't like that. I hate spiders more than rep than snakes. But you know, uh, but it was it was it was pretty fun there. Um, I I. I I remember at the end, my friends were like, because they had this really big snake, like this giant snake, like 20 foot snake or something, like really big one, right? And, oh, I probably gotta get up here, alright. My friends were all like trying, you know, they let our, us hold it, right? Like wrap it around on uh, the back of our necks and all that and hold it. And I was like, you know what? I'm good. 
I'm good. I really don't like that. And, you know, my friends all did it. And then my friends were like, oh, you should do it. You should do it. And I'm like, uh, hell no, I'm not doing it. And then my friend was like, I'll give you 20 bucks if you don't. And I'm like, all right, give me the snake. Oh. What the fuck? Yo, Luigi, if you, I mean, Luigi, if you knew how to teleport this whole time, you should have let me know. That would have saved a whole lot of trouble. The children's puzzles are too hard. Like, what do I do? Fire, right? There's fire. Fire burn web. That, that, that's all I got. I got. I got nothing after that step. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. What if I can grab onto this and... Damn it. I was hoping I can slam it, the fire, into this thing. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That gave me an idea. Slam it. Yeah, and there's a torch. All right. Children's puzzle solved. Yo, all right, so now we can fight the Pharaoh bastard. Look. Luigi, it's not the quietest thing. Oh. Oh, weird. Creepy. Get it. Vacuum it. Right now. Ah. Yo, hey, hey, oh, game. I'm gonna call bullshit on this right here, game. You know why? I cleaned this desert. I made sure there was not even a single grain of sand here. You can't be out here telling me that it's just back. That, that, that's some bullshit. There's too much sand. Alright, you know what? What if the key to the fighting this boss is just to clean the sand? <laughs> now there's no more sand. What are you going to do now, bitch? Uh, oh. Oh! Never mind. Boss is easy. Uh, never mind. Boss is hard again. Oh, never mind. Boss is easy again. Alright, so it, me cleaning the sand was doing something. Like, cleaning the sand around the pharaoh. Oh, I can't avoid the snake. I have yet to fully avoid the snake attack. I... I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. I... I shut your mouth, you shouldn't have said anything. Fuck. Honestly, Dave, you're just... You're doing great. We just need to pray the algorithm helps you... That's pretty much what I've been waiting on as well. I've just been hoping that the YouTube algorithm blesses me because I feel like my content's good. I'm at, I've got it to a point where I like the type of content I make. I'm just hoping to get that lucky break where I um, where I can just have the algorithm recommend people to me or get the lucky break of having people notice my content. I guess is what I'm trying to say there. Right, so this this whole floor, this whole floor seems like it's gonna be like magic themed. Yeah, this, is, this seems like it's going to be magic illusion themed. And that could either be a good thing or a bad thing. Because if you got the magic illusions and shit all over the place, then you know the puzzles are going to get a lot harder. They're going to be like, oh, you think there's something here, but there's not. And it's like, oh, you think there's nothing here, but there is. Yeah, something like this fucking shit right here. I, wow, I, oh, God. Yeah, do magic. Do magic. We're doing magic. I just saw a ghost in half. The ghosts aren't hurting you. What? I uh, well, um, I don't know. Those ghosts in particular, they were the gold ghosts, and gold ghosts are a bitch, right? They they be they be bitch, right? They scared. They're worse than Luigi. They're more bitch than Luigi. That's how you know you bitch when you more bitch than Luigi, right? So they run because they don't want me to steal the money. But it's like they're trapped in a room and will scatter around because they're also stupid. When you're a bitch and stupid, that's not a good combo. Because Luigi, who's also a bitch, comes in here and is like, all right, give me a shit. And they're like, oh shit, I don't want that. And then he's like, all right, then I'm going to take it. I am just on, like, on edge so much during this entire floor. Like looking for every single possible secret because it's the magic floor. Like... The first, like, room I entered, they had some of that illusion bullshit that I knew they would. So now it's like, if I don't double check, even, like, triple check, quadruple check even every single area, I'm gonna miss something. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna continue on the map. Oh. You know what? I fought one of these before. I fought them at the movie theater. They ain't doing shit. I know how to beat you. Actually, do I actually remember how to beat you? Oh, yeah, it was... I attached the plunger to him, or... How do I beat him? Uh, what do? I'm gonna lose to the fucking trash can. What if I try, what? That's really all I had to do? Why are we upside down? What's going on? Why, why are we upside down? Oh, never mind. They were upside down. Now we're upside down. 
What? You bitch! No, oh, you gonna help? No. What? Wait, hang on. If you were just gonna... I'm... I'm so confused because I entered through here, right? So they put me up... Were they just trying to flex on me that... Ooh, look, I can control gravity. All right, bye. Oh, sorry, let me put it down quick. Wait, what? That was so pointless. They didn't even harm me. If they left me up there, what the fuck was I gonna do? Like, but like, the door's right... Were they really just trying to flex? Alright. Okay, you bastard. It's a fucking mimic. Oh! Fuck! Yeah, it's like the one guy, the trash can! Okay, alright, so right away, uh, I can see like a little tear on the wall behind the stage, so I'm like, alright, that's something that- Like, my senses are so heightened right now in this entire magic level. Because it's like, it's the fucking magic level. And you know, they got some magic-y bullshit all the play- like, I, I said it already, but like, room one, they had that magic bullshit. Oh, yo, it's Jesus Dog! Alright, so what do I need? What do I need to do? Oh, yo, you got something that you like? You want, you want, you want some chips? I got you. Jesus Dog is trying to tell me something here. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you, Je Yo, hey, Jesus Dog's so helpful. He even tell me exactly what move to do, since I'm stupid. Let's go. Smash that shit. Thanks, Jesus Dog. Have a nice day. Oh, you bitch. I'm not dealing with this. Are they really gonna be all like, yo, okay, so you're gonna have to have, a, you know, the first stream? Right? You got that rat you're gonna chase around, right? That's gonna be a pain in the ass and it's gonna be really simple. Second one, you got that fucking cat, you know, is gonna chase around. It's gonna be really simple, actually. You're gonna spend a while on Third one, you got the fucking rat you're gonna chase around. It's gonna be really simple, actually. Don't you fucking do that to me, game. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> but it's really simple. But. But it. But it really. But it. Wasn't that simple. Jesus, one quick bunny. Okay, you gonna actually help me? You have to catch it if you want any hope of hitting it with dark light. And how you hit with dark if you're also holding on to it? <laughs> okay, so he's basically just spelt it out for me. You know how stupid this is, though? I had an easy time hitting him with it, right? Like, he got caught on the chair. I thought, haha, thank you, stupid bitch. And then he's like, no, 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 no. I'm immune to it when you're not holding me. And what? That makes no fucking sense.